Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very very interesting question from algebra. Given that A, B, C are real numbers, we have to solve for x. So let's get started by writing one important argument from algebra or fraction. If u over v equal to p over q, then we can write u plus v over u minus v equal to p plus q over p minus q. This is also called componendo and dividendo. Let's prove it first. I am going to add one and subtract one to both sides. So I will write u over v plus 1 equal to p over q plus 1. And here we will be writing u over v minus 1 equal to p over q minus 1. Let's take LCM. So we can write u plus v over v in LHS, p plus q over q in RHS. Let's say equation number 1. And here we will write u minus v over v equal to p minus q over q equation number 2. Now we have to only divide both the equations. So I am writing 1 divided by 2 we are going to get u plus v over u minus v in LHS. v and v will be over. From RHS, q and q will be over. We are going to get p plus q over p minus q, which is our result here. So we have to solve our question using this argument. Let us say, x minus a in our equation x minus a equal to m and x minus b equal to n. So I can write our equation. I will write m square plus mn plus n square in the numerator. In denominator I will write m square minus mn plus n square. Now the turn of RHS. We are going to write 3c square plus 1 over c square plus 3. Now consider in LHS numerator is u, in LHS denominator is v, in RHS numerator is p, and denominator is q. So we have to consider u plus v over u minus v. Let's do that. m square plus mn plus n square. This is u plus v. So m square minus mn plus n square. u plus v is over in denominator u minus v. So we will write m square plus mn plus n square minus m square minus mn plus n square. Now in RHS, p plus q will be in the numerator. So we need to add both the numerators and denominator. So I will write here 3c square plus 1 plus c square plus 3 in the numerator. And in the denominator, p minus q. So 3c square plus 1 minus c square minus 3. Now we have to cancel plus mn minus mn. m square minus m square once we will expand. n square minus n square. So we are going to write m square plus m square. 2m square n square plus n square. 2n square. So 2 we can take common in the bracket m square plus n square. In denominator we will be writing 2 times mn. Now in RHS we are going to get 4c square. 3c square plus c square is 4c square. 1 plus 3 is 4. Over 
थ्री सी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर टू सी स्क्वायर वन माइनस थ्री माइनस टू नाउ वी कैन टेक फोर कॉमन फ्रॉम द न्यूमरेटर एंड टू कॉमन फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर सो वी हैव टू राइट सी स्क्वायर प्लस वन इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड सी स्क्वायर माइनस वन इन द डिनोमिनेटर नाउ फोर ओवर टू इज टू सो हेयर आई कैन कैंसल दीज टू नंबर एंड राइट टू नाउ आई विल कैंसल टू फ्रॉम एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस सो अवर इक्वेशन बिकम्स एम स्क्वायर प्लस एन स्क्वायर ओवर टू एम एन इक्वल टू सी स्क्वायर प्लस वन ओवर सी स्क्वायर माइनस वन let me write this equation here m square plus n square over 2 times mn will be equal to c square plus 1 over c square minus 1 again we will consider our numerator of lhs as u denominator as v p here we will consider q again we have to apply the same argument so in the numerator we are going to write u plus v m square plus n square plus 2 mn in denominator we are going to write u minus v so m square plus n square minus 2 mn equal to p plus q so i will write c square plus 1 plus c square minus 1 p minus q so c square plus 1 minus c square plus 1 now we will cancel plus and minus c square plus and minus 1 if you will see these are two identities a square plus b square plus 2ab which is a plus b whole square here we have m and n whole square in denominator we can write m minus n whole square rhs would be 2c square over 2 now we can cancel 2 and 2 from numerator and denominator using exponent law we can write our lhs m plus n over m minus n whole square equal to c square now we will take square root both sides and we will write m plus n over m minus n equal to plus minus c so we can write here two equations first one m plus n over m minus n equal to plus c second equation m plus n over m minus n equal to minus c now if i will write m was x minus a n was x minus b so we can find out m plus n so we will add and write 2x minus a minus b x plus x is 2x minus a minus b we will calculate m minus n also subtract second equation from first one x minus x will be over minus a minus of minus b so we can write b minus a so m plus n is 2x minus a minus b and m minus n is b minus a which we are going to apply both the equations let us apply i will write m plus n so 2x minus a minus b over b minus a in our first equation lhs equal to c of course b cannot be equal to a now we will cross multiply and write 2x minus a minus b equal to c times b minus a or 2x minus a minus b 
equal to BC minus AC. Now we have to add A and add B both sides. So A plus B in the RHS also. Now minus A plus A minus B plus B will be over. It will be left with 2x in the LHS and RHS is A plus B plus BC minus AC. Now we have to only divide by 2 to get our first answer or solution, we will write x equal to a plus b plus bc minus ac over 2. Here we have our first solution or first real solution. Now we will take up second equation. Second equation was m plus n over m minus n equal to minus c. So let me write here itself m plus n over m minus n equal to minus c. m cannot be equal to n. Now we are going to cross multiply but before that we have to plug in m plus n and m minus n value. So m plus n was 2x minus a minus b. Let me write here 2x minus a minus b and m minus n was b minus a equal to minus c. b cannot be equal to a. We will cross multiply and write 2x minus a minus b equal to minus bc plus ac. Now we have to add a plus b both sides. So we will write here a plus b in RHS also. We will cancel plus and minus a plus and minus b from LHS. We will get 2x in the LHS equal to a plus b plus ac minus bc. Now we have to divide by 2 both sides. We are going to get second solution x equal to a plus b plus ac minus bc over 2. Let's say this is our x2 and if I will write here x1 also then x1 was a plus b plus bc minus ac over 2. So we have two real answers or solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.